All right, guys, wind back today with a really interesting firearm from Diamondback. This is actually a brand new revolver called the Sidekick, and it's a cowboy action style firearm. It's pretty slick because it really harkens back to those single action revolvers, but this is not a single action revolver. The first thing I want to discuss is this is a double action single action revolver, and instead of using a loading gate on the side like a traditional single action revolver, you simply pull this out or pull this out, and the cylinder itself swings out, and you have nine rounds inside the cylinder. So that's about three more than your average single action revolver. It also comes with a 22 mag cylinder. We'll be doing some more shooting with this in the future. But initially, we just started shooting with 22 long rifle just to get a feel for the handgun. It's a really unique design, and it comes in at a surprisingly heavy weight, which makes it great, actually, for people who are really recoil sensitive. You can get a nine shots of 22 mag in this or 22 long rifle and just rattle off those shots without any recoil whatsoever. So why would you want something like this and what kind of practical purposes does it serve? And for me, this is a range plinker or more of a camp gun. I really like the idea of calling it a sidekick because it would be a pretty impressive sidekick just kind of carrying around on your land. If you wanted to dispatch varmint close up with the 22 mag cylinder, you've got one included in the box. And if you want to just plink at the range and shoot around and have some fun, that 22 long rifle cylinder is nice as well. Also, I like the fact that this looks kind of like a single action farm until you start getting really close in and seeing if uh, you know, some of the differences with the trigger being extended out to the middle of the trigger guard. And instead of this being the ejection rod, it's actually something to help you pull this out to remove that cylinder. It's slick because it's got those nine rounds and it's a little bit more practical than a single action revolver when it comes to just plinking down at the range or actually using this uh, for a wide variety of scenarios. So those three extra shots really add up, especially with the 22 mag cylinder. Also, a lot of those single action cowboy style holsters are going to fit this perfectly. So if you already have some of those lying around, this would be a pretty good option to carry around on your land and things like that or on a camping trip. Now, it's definitely not going to be like a lightweight backpacking gun. There are many other 22s out there that are a lot more lightweight than this. But again, I think this is kind of a bridge between that classic single action shooter as well as a practical farm for somebody who just wants to grab one 22 long rifle revolver. This is pretty slick. Now, it's got some textured uh, kind of nylon grips. They're very comfortable. They blend in with the gun itself. It's got a matte finish that looks really nice. It's got some notching on the hammer itself, so you can easily cock that into single action mode. And I've already showed clear a bunch of times, but I will show clear one more time before I go ahead and pull that trigger just to make sure. Now, the double action trigger on this guy is actually reasonably heavy, and it's solid. You're not going to accidentally pull that. You're going to have to be deliberate about pulling the double action trigger on this. So it's not going to, you know, it, it's not my favorite double action trigger. I think they could have done a better job with that, especially if they were making this to be specifically like a double single action firearm. Although I like it though for training purposes or getting uh, somebody down at the range new to firearms, they're not going to accidentally pull that trigger. But now where this revolver really shines is in single action mode. So when you cock back that hammer, there is absolutely no creep, no anything on this. And look at this trigger pull. It is lightweight and crisp. One of the nicest single action trigger pulls I've felt. I mean, this is done really well so the sidekick really shines in single action mode and honestly i think that's the way you're mostly going to be shooting this firearm you're going to take it down to the range and you're going to plink cans and do stuff like that uh, only in certain situations are you going to use that 22 mag cylinder and just dump rounds really quickly for maybe a 
a, a personal defense situation, although this is not really a personal defense firearm. Uh, but again, if you're on the land and something's approaching you, some type of varmint, and you can just dump that nine shot cylinder of 22 mag on it, I feel like this is a perfectly capable firearm. It's also a tack driver. I was shooting uh, steel pretty far out, shooting some paper. The sights themselves are pretty rudimentary, just like any other single action firearm, but they do a really good job, actually. Um, you can line them up. They're not super like high vis sights, but again, for plinking and for target shooting, these sights are perfect and they work out really well. Uh, functionally, this has been 100% reliable, no issues whatsoever. It's been working out great. Um, and there has been no issues with any types of 22 ammo. I know a lot of times 22 ammo can be rather picky, but I was shooting a lot from American Pawn and Gun. They donated some Winchester and some Federal a while back, some bulk packs. So if you're ever in the area, swing by American Pawn and Gun. Uh, talk to the owner, Greg. Tell him 704 Tactical sent you over and they'll hook you up with some deals. They've got a ton of ammo in stock and they sent some 22 over. So I've probably put about 500 rounds through this gun. Not a ton, but enough to get a good feel for it and it's been working out perfectly i'll be definitely updating you guys in the future on this revolver kind of a long-term durability test maybe some comparison videos but this is probably one of the most unique revolvers i've ever seen really bridging the gap between a, a traditional single action gun and a double action gun uh, this is not something for everybody this is something that you're going to have to like want and i really think if you go to the range and you just want to plank and have fun that's where this is going to shine or maybe it's kind of a ranch gun or a camp gun especially with the fact that it does come with that 22 mag cylinder i keep you know going back to that because all of this is included in the box and the msrp on this guy is like 329 so it's incredibly affordable when you consider all you get in the quality of this farm you can see just the attention to detail and everything about this just screams like quality. When you pick it up, you feel like you've got something. It doesn't feel cheap. It's done really nicely. So I'm actually a big fan of this. Uh, but again, it's a unique, interesting farm that's not going to be for everybody, but I really like it. And I should probably shot a little bit more 22 than I wanted to for the initial overview, but it'll be good for that long-term testing and evaluation. So I think this is not available yet to the public. They sent out some for uh, to reviewers, so I, I got a chance to grab one of these, so I'm really excited I did. I'll continue to shoot it and probably do an update right around release time to let you know how things are going. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.